Hey, welcome back to Sales Made Easy. This is Tom. Email address, tom at salesmadeeasy.com. Feel free to email me for any of my stuff we go through or any of the handouts I have. Today, I want to talk about an interesting thing. You know, it's always hit me, and I've, I've done this on several occasions, and maybe some of you have also, and that is witness an Ironman. Now, an Ironman is a triathlon, for those of you that don't know, and I'm going to might get a little of this wrong, or I think it's a little different. But it's a three, I believe, a two to three mile swim, like about a 76 mile bike ride, and then a 26 mile marathon, all in one day. And um, these are quite amazing things to watch. I haven't done one. And what's interesting is probably the top epitome of the Ironman is the one in Kona, Hawaii. And lucky for me, my wife and I have been to several of these to watch them. Now it's quite a quite a sight for for you to get accepted at the Ironman. In Kona, you have to go through three other triathlons, I believe, to get accepted. So, but what I find interesting is um, you go to these things and you sit on the beach. We've sat on the beach and watched the gun go off where 2,000 swimmers jump in the water. And they actually have scuba divers um, watching underneath the water to make sure someone has a problem, they get saved. But they jump out of the water and they hop on their bikes and they ride through the, the Hawaii mountains. 76 miles and then once they get off of there then they go on a drop their bikes and they run for 26 miles so what's so great about this well it's interesting to see the start and the end and yes you can stand on the roadways and cheer people which we've done but the interesting part is the end of it we're sitting at the finish line in Kona and you're watching these well winners come in right probably about 11 o'clock you know in the morning 12 o'clock noon noonish starts very early in the morning and goes and, and typically that's it but that's not the fun part to watch and it's not the interesting part to watch the interesting part to watch is about midnight because they shut the gates down at midnight and watch the finishers these are the people that have been swimming all day biking all day and running all day and you understand that Kona Hawaii first you're jumping into an ocean where you have big waves coming in and here's people at 10 30 at night barely can drag themselves across the pavement but they're doing whatever it takes to finish this you see friends holding each other trying to get across the finish line before it's too late and the des desire and commitment to make that happen is phenomenal to me that they will struggle that hard and the reason why it's phenomenal to me is because that's something I probably would never do. And I think to myself, why would someone do that? Well, that's a lot to go through. But then I look at my life and I look at some of the things I've struggled with and gone through. And you probably can pick the same things. The things you fought for hard. The things you went and said, I'm going to do this anyway, even though it hurts. And you keep fighting through to get that 10 p.m. finish line before they shut it down. You've done that in certain aspects of your life perhaps with your marriage, perhaps with your kids, perhaps just with your job or certain aspects of your job. Maybe it was college where you fought through and said, you know, I'm tired of college. I don't want this anymore, but I'm going to fight through anyways, even though I don't want it because I said I'd do it. So the same thing with you. What's your Iron Man? Have you picked out your Iron Man of what's going to make you go through that and fight to get to that finish line before they shut it down? So. I think that's really what, what's got to drive us, is picking out what your Iron Man is and what's going to make you do a three-mile um, swim, 76-mile bike, or 26-mile run, and finally end up at the finish line at 1030. Figure that out. Figure out what's your Iron Man. What are those things you're going to do and keep doing, even though it hurts, even though you don't want to? When you can figure out your Iron Man, you'll be successful. So you all have it in you, every one of you. You're not in the sales because you're not a, a, someone who wants to get an Iron Man. Sales is the toughest job in the world. You're in it because you want to compete. Figure out what your Iron Man is. Figure out what that is if you're willing to work hard to get to that finish line before they shut it down, and you'll be successful. And keep that in your head. Keep that in your mind. Till next time, hope that helps. Sales made easy. We'll see you next time.